Back in 1935, the Marege Dam proved that engineers could divert rivers to build powerful dams. But to break through the 1,000 megawatt mark, American engineers building the Hoover Dam had to take their building material to the limit. In the 1930s, the USA decided to tackle one of their big economic problems. The cities in the western United States couldn't grow because they lacked both water and power. So to break the deadlock, engineers began work on the world's biggest dam. It would contain more concrete than any other construction project before it. But as concrete sets, a chemical reaction causes it to heat up. This created a problem for the Hoover Dam's engineers. If the concrete of the Hoover Dam was poured in one go, the concrete on the outside would have cooled and hardened first, while in the core of the dam, the concrete would have stayed hot and tried to expand. This could stress the concrete and make it crack. So the engineers cast the concrete for the Hoover Dam in small individual blocks. As the concrete in each block cooled, it shrank, but it didn't crack. The contraction left small gaps between the blocks, which engineers filled with cement. But this clever design didn't solve all the problems. The Hoover Dam is enormous. I mean, there are six million tons of concrete in the Hoover Dam. And if we were able to concentrate all of the heat that's generated by that curing concrete into a single oven, we could cook half a million loaves of bread every day for three years. This structure, if it was left on its own, they figure out it's going to take 125 years for it to finish shrinking and cooling down, basically. And that's not nearly quick enough. Now, the guy in charge is a fellow called Frank Crow, and they call him Hurry Up Crow, because he's a man in a rush. And he says, ah, this is not good enough. I can't wait 125 years. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Colorado River to cool my dam. <laughs> Crow embedded over 950 kilometers of steel water pipes into the concrete of the Hoover Dam. He built a huge water chilling factory. Here he cooled river water down to four degrees and then shot it through the pipes into the hot concrete. This shortened the cooling time from 125 years to only 22 months. Now this works a treat. All they have to do is finish the dam, cement grout up the pipes, and they're out of there. Fantastic effort. It actually took 5,000 men only 21 months to build this structure. Not only that, they finished two years ahead of time, and they finished ahead of budget. The Hoover Dam stored 35 billion cubic meters of water and at the time generated more power than any other dam in the world. With this magnificent dam behind them, the cities in the American West could finally begin to thrive.